Welcome back boys and girls and I just had to make this video when I saw a new movie in Netflix called Sentinel. It's ranking top 3 in USA right now. I wasn't just disappointed and it's not just unrealistic but I was really concerned because this involves in gun safety and people who don't know anything about guns might think stuff they do is actually safe with guns. So when it involves safety, I thought I should make this video and hopefully people who don't know about guns might see this and understand this is not what people do with their guns and when they get involved with a gun and this is something they really should never do. I really think people who make movies that involves guns should really get a professional help or advice because they don't want to send the wrong message. Right off the bat when I saw this, I knew they didn't get a professional advice from an actual shooter. Okay, right there. What was the problem? Let's take a look at that again. Right there. This type of scope, you have to have your eye against the eyepiece. Otherwise, you can't see anything. With this much eye relief, I am positive you can't see his target. Number one rule in gun safety class is watch your muzzle. And never direct your muzzle at something that you don't want to shoot. Hey, how you doing, Yasum? How are you? Can I get you boys some coffee? Yeah. Let me get that for you. Never look for a scope of rifle unless you intend to shoot and kill. Well, it seems like she wanted to shoot a lot of people. And the second rule is never have your finger in the trigger unless you're ready to fire. It seems like she was a trigger happy person. when you shoot. You shouldn't. Try exhaling next time instead. And this was kind of funny. She was giving advice to a shooter of how to shoot while you're breathing, but she should have given advice about having your dominant eye and having your handgun to your dominant eye. For example, when you shoot a rifle, you do have to lower your head because your rifle is on your shoulder and you have to find the sight. But with a pistol, your pistol is supposed to come to your eye. I think her dominant was left eye because she was doing this. Now with a pistol, you actually have to have your gun come to your dominant eye and shoot. But instead of giving that advice, she was telling her you should try shooting while you're breathing. And honestly, I don't even know where that came from. And anybody who saw this movie knows that you don't fully extend your hand going through the doors trying to find the bad guys. Because when you have your hand extended out like that, somebody who's hiding behind the door could knock your hand out or shoot your hand or whatever. You want to keep the gun close to your body and then extend when you're ready to shoot. But she walked through the whole house doing this, looking for the bad guy. I really think anybody who owns a firearm or handles firearms really need to learn the basics of gun safety and how safely and properly use a gun and that includes the people who make movies. See ya.